Have you ever wondered what a haul would look like by someone who doesn't accept sponsorships? Send it back, send it back. Hello, it's me, Clarice, and I expose influencer brands because I care where you put your money into. I know how brands can manipulate you into promoting them and how easy it is to sell an illusion to people. I also own a small business, so I'm very knowledgeable in business tactics. So yeah, if you want to know more about these tactics and how companies manipulate you into buying from them because influencers are promoting their products, then keep on watching. But before we start off this video, instead of promoting trash from other brands, I would like to promote my own brand. So I'm just gonna sponsor my own video, I guess. So this video is sponsored by my own company, Loop Palace. Most of you might not know this, but my mom got infected by the virus and she had a very severe case of lung failure and she was in an artificial coma for around two weeks and instead of giving up on her and sending her negative thoughts, I actually believed in her recovery and I worked my ass off to make her proud when she wakes up and that's how Wolf Palace got created. I got very creative during quarantine and I started to draw dog faces and engrave them on jewelry. This is one of the necklaces. This is real sterling silver but we also sell gold. This will last you forever. It won't stain your skin and basically the idea is to have your best friend, your pet always with you closer to your heart or as a bracelet and you can always look at them and be with them. Everything is hand drawn by me. I just love it. It's so cute. If you have a dog or a pet, I would gladly draw it for you. So if you want to support me with this, please follow my business Instagram down below. And if you want to purchase something, um, you can do that at wolfpalace.net. If you DM me on Instagram, I will give you a discount code. So yeah, I'm just super excited to announce this finally. I know that fast fashion is a huge problem and I'm gonna make a separate video about this in the future, but I'm only doing this series so you know where to shop at so at least if you buy fast fashion at least the products that you buy will last you a long time even though it's still fast fashion the clothes are not cheap these brands can mark up their prices so high because they got insta creds what brands do is they basically send out packages left and right to a lot of influencers. Sometimes they don't even tell them that they're gonna get a package. They just get random packages. So influencers wear their stuff constantly. And in my last video, I told you, once you see a brand or an item more often, the more you want it. Marketing is not that hard. All you gotta do is bombard the consumer with your brand. The reason they promote this is not because the brand is so good and the quality is so good. It's just because they like being in this influencer scene, you know? And people buy from these brands because they want to be part of this exclusivity. They want to be an influencer. Once they get their package, they get super excited. They post it on a story, thank the company even though they bought it themselves, and they post a picture with it, tag the company, which is free marketing for them because they want to be part of this influencer scene. You idolize your favorite influencer and you want to be like them. And that's exactly the illusion that these companies want to sell you. Companies like these want you to idolize influencers so you too can tag them in your photos. And the crazy thing is, during these years, you will notice that brands stop doing campaign shoots. A lot of them, all they do is just take mirror selfies because that's what they want you to do. So yeah, let's start the review. Um, let's see what Naked has to offer. Naked does a lot of influencer collabs and collections. And not to be shady, but I love how they act like they designed the pieces when in reality they just picked up pieces that already existed and just stamped their name on it pretty funny okay this is super heavy let me quickly talk about my shopping experience at naked well they have too many products they have like 20,000 pieces online and honestly just by scrolling through the website I could already tell that the pieces looked extremely cheap as fuck they sell their stuff for over 50 euros and it looks so cheap so I only ordered the best pieces I could find um, so I'm scared that these won't be as bad but the website already tells me that the freaking satin is so bad the a lot of the things are see-through the material already looks super flimsy and thin hopefully this will be I don't know 
gonna open it for the first time. I haven't opened it. Okay, let's start off with it. Yeah, I mean, the good thing is they actually don't look as wrinkly as the nasty gal stuff, so that's good. <laughs> I expected this dress to be ugly, kind of. First impression, it's not that bad. Um, I will try it on later for you. Okay, so I'm gonna try on the clothes now. I'm gonna say no to this dress. It looks extremely cheap on. <laughs> um, of course, this dress can look good with the right posing, but we're not posing all the time. So, um, I take everything back. It does look cheap. Naked has a very good first impression on you because everything is ironed and you imagine yourself in it and it looks good in your imagination, but it doesn't look very good. <laughs> No. Okay. They have like this paper lining, which is kind of cool. This cropped sweater, I guess. Oh, Ivana Santa Cruz. It's a collab. The material could be softer, but all in all, it doesn't look that bad. No. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with you. How can a sweater be see-through? I mean, it's kind of cute. This is the sweater. I don't know how a sweater can be see-through, but again, it's see-through. Send it back. I'm gonna send it back. What I see on camera is not what it looks like in real life. <laughs> no. So yeah, I'm gonna send it back because it kind of feels very plasticky. <sighs> oh my gosh, I think this one is not a fail as well. Yeah, this looks good, I guess. Yeah, this will look good too. I should just stop being negative. I think this haul is going to be a success. I don't know if you can hear, but I guess the material is the problem. Just something is annoying me. Maybe I just don't have the body for this, but... Oh. Uh, no. Yeah, I don't know what... It doesn't look good. I wish you could see that it looks bad in real life. Not good. The pants, these pants also kind of feel good. Yeah, they feel good. Yeah, um, it's good. They're kind of big, but I guess I have to just get a size smaller next time. Honestly, I think weekend jeans look better or feel better. The price is kind of expensive. I feel like you can get this for 20, 30 euros. If you want high quality jeans, I suggest either getting weekend or Levi's. <sighs> Yeah, this is see-through. I don't know, it's just a basic t-shirt. It's a basic tee, I'm just gonna hunch back since I don't even bother to put on a bra. I guess it's normal for my nipples to show. Um, yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about this, I guess you can get this. Okay, I have to take in consideration that these pieces cost 50 euros each. Okay, because I kind of forgot already. But yeah, these pants, they look good, honestly. I'm sad. <laughs> I was ready to expose them, <laughs> but it's okay, I guess. The reason why Naked doesn't seem as bad is because they ironed their clothes before sending it out. Maybe you can see them here. Can you see them? Um, I'm just gonna insert a story right here. These pants uh, look very good. I'm gonna keep them because I love them. So I think I'm gonna wear them often. So I'm just gonna keep them. They're comfortable, they're flowy, and the material feels nice. So finally, I have something to keep. <laughs> I guess the material is pretty thin, but it doesn't look cheap to me. This looks good as well. Um, it kind of looks cute. Again, it's kind of see-through, but I guess it's the problem is just me. No, I think I'm not gonna keep it since I'm not gonna wear it often. Yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about this cute top. Um, if it's not that expensive, I guess it's worth it. I have to think. How much did I pay for this? Oh, uh, 24 euros. It's kind of uh, affordable. I would keep this. I'm starting to lose hope. It's also really, really see-through. Yeah. Would definitely look good in pictures, but... And yes, I could easily buy nipple covers, but even if I got those, I think you would still see them. So, yeah, I'm not impressed. Send it back. Send it back. Okay, this is like 20 euros, I guess. Material could be thicker, but all in all, I think 20 is okay for this. Okay, so this one... 
I guess kind of cute but I'm gonna set it back because again it's see-through I don't know if there's something wrong with my nipples but they always shoot out and it's not even cold but I don't think it's me it's the top it doesn't look very expensive it's kind of see-through I wouldn't call this quality product but 20 euros that's fine it's see-through the thing is I don't know if I would buy this if I saw this on a rack but now that I already have it at home I don't know if I want to send it back it's kind of hard okay so as expected this top is very very see-through I don't know if you can tell but you can see everything so I put um, used face masks on my titties um, the back is super cute would be cute if it's not see-through oh it's damaged but yeah this dress is damaged but we'll see it on okay so this is the last dress it actually looks good i would actually keep it if it was not broken my first impression oh my gosh um naked i didn't expect it to be good yeah i don't know um a lot of people actually told me that the quality is pretty bad when they ordered from them and i was so ready to trash naked but the quality i wouldn't say it feels expensive okay so my final verdict is don't buy from naked i really tried hard to find the pieces that don't look cheap online already um, so I actually tried hard. I know my first impressions are pretty good um, due to the fact that they iron their clothes before they send it to you and while opening the clothing they actually look good but on it looks not that great. I'm pretty sure I'm not the problem though, right? Or am I? No, I'm not the problem. The clothes are still very cheap even though in the first impression it doesn't look that cheap. But I guess that's the beauty in Naked. They have a lot of money in making sure the product looks good on first impression, I guess. It elevates the experience for the buyer and it kind of makes you believe that you're getting a good quality product. Let me know in the comments which brands I should review next. Uh, see you next time. Bye!